Hello my beautiful little angels. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. So I apologise profusely for the darkness. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning but today's video is going to be an Aldi and Tesco haul. You guys know that I love filming these kind of videos. Let's go. And done. That's me back home now. So I'm going to start with Aldi first and then I'll do Tesco. So we get the Mamiya, Mamiya ultra dry nappies these are like the daytime ones and then we use these ones at night time i don't know why they both last up to 12 hours but i just feel like these ones are just so much better two of the mamiya baby wipes we've got the toilet roll we've got two of these dip it cheese dip with breadstick things they're probably not the best for you as you can tell but they just go down a treat in this house so we've got them some single cream these little delight yogurts are really good just for the wee one 12 of these free range eggs we've got some stock cubes seafood sticks cooked ham scotch pies these three milks are actually from Tesco. I must have muddled the shopping up a little bit. But we really like the big milk for the little one here. I don't know why. It just feels so much healthier. It says it's got vitamin D, iron and vitamin A. And then on the side, when you look at it, it says again, iron, vitamin D, calcium, vitamin A. It's filtered whole milk, which means it lasts a little bit longer. And 9 out of 10 mums apparently recommend this. So again, it's just fresh cow's milk enriched with essential nutrients to help fuel your child's amazing adventures from little to big person. So again, don't know how different it is to normal milk, but they've sold me with all of this stuff on the front. So we really like it and we buy it all the time. So that's that milk. And again, we've got two of the filtered whole 3.7% fat milk. It just seems to last forever and it just seems a little bit more fresh which we obviously really like. We've got some passata, we've got big wraps and the little mini tortilla wraps. Then we've got the lattes and the cappuccino. I'm not really a fan of this kind of thing, but again, my partner loves it. Mayonnaise, hand soap and Cajun, which I'm a big fan of, mixed herbs and garlic granules. These are like the three herbs that I use all the time and pretty much everything. I just really like them. A card for my niece's birthday this month. Mature cheese, some baby bells, and we really like this. It just seems to last forever. And then, I've never actually seen these in Aldi before, but I'm kind of on, although I say I'm on a little bit of a health kick. Look at this. Probably shouldn't have bloody bothered. <laughs> we got some of these Greek whipped yogurts. It's the lemon and strawberry ones. This is the bread that we like to get. It's the Splendid Seeds bread from Aldi. And it's got protein, fibre, low saturated fat. Don't really know much about any of that stuff, but apparently it's good for you. A big bad boy chicken. I like to cook this and then split it into two different meals for like a chicken fried rice or like a curry or a soup or just like a big roast. So we got that. Meatballs, big fan of them. Pork sausages, we've got some salmon, we've got fish fingers, turkey rashers, uh, these are garlic baguettes, grease proof paper. I like to put this in the air fryer just to like keep it a little bit cleaner. It just seems to help keep it in order. French fries. We got some of these tempura haddock goujons. The wee one loves these. Cashews, which I'm a big fan of. Strawberries, which have been opened. Blueberries, two oranges, two bananas, two apples. We've got some grapes in the corner, sweet potato, cherry tomatoes, avocado, parsnips. We've got some green beans and some sugar snap peas, two broccoli, some red kidney beans, chickpeas and some chopped tomato. At the back we've got carrot, we've got some lettuce, sweet corn, I think I've already said parsnips, cucumber, pepper, normal potato, mushrooms and baby spinach in the corner. Moving on to Tesco now. Oh my god, I don't know what it is about these. I think it's because they're salty, vinegary, tangy, crunchy, like it says. They're just absolutely bloody delightful. I don't know what it is. They're just a little bit moorish. So I 
I'm a big fan of these, so obviously had to pick them up. Now, moving on to chocolate. You guys will probably know I'm a huge chocolate fan. Not really much of a dark chocolate fan, but I've been reading that it's so much better for you than milk chocolate. We already knew that, but I just mean that like the health benefits are so much better. So I thought I'd pick up this little caramelised hazelnut dark chocolate. Give it a bash, see how we get on. I got some of this Onkin natural yogurt. So moving on to the Ye... I really struggled to say Yeo. The Yeo Valley Organic Kefir Strawberry Fermented Yogurts. They sound horrendous. Absolutely banging. They just pretty much taste like every other strawberry yogurt. I have been doing a little bit of research recently and I'm trying to look into things that are good for your gut and things that help your microbiome and all of that jazz. But apparently, from the little thing here, it said it's got 14 strains of live cultures. So I'm on the yogurts, I'm on the dark chocolate, I'm doing my intermittent fasting, which by the way, I am a huge fan of. It makes me feel so much better and it totally just makes me realise I was just eating everything and anything that probably wasn't that good. So anyway, I got four of these. This is what they look like, if you can see by the camera. Um, pretty much just tastes like every other yogurt. What I want to know is how come healthy food is so expensive? £1.60 for that. If that was a other brand of chocolate, it would be cheaper. This was like two fifty, and these were like £4.50. But then there is eight of them. Anyway, that's that. Got the little one, some banana biscotti. He really likes them. Got some Oaty Flapjacks. Some multigrain crackers, which are an essential. And he absolutely loves these by Kiddylicious. So these ones are the cheesy veggie straws. And these ones are the just normal veggie straws. I've tried them. They're actually really, really good. Um, so that's that. That's my haul. So the meals for this week are going to be roast dinner with all the trimmings. Chicken fried rice, we're having a Chinese, we're going to have salmon, potato, veg, we've got loads of food in the freezer and then I'm going to do meatballs, spaghetti, garlic bread, all that kind of thing. So these are the meals for this week and any other days we'll probably just have what's in the freezer. We've got so much left over from Christmas time so yeah, that's the menu for this week. So it's now the next day and I just realised I totally forgot to finish yesterday's video. I hope you guys loved it. I am personally someone who just loves to see what people buy when they go shopping. I just love seeing the snacks, I love seeing what's new and it also gives me a little bit of inspiration for what meals to cook. So again, I hope you guys loved the video and I'll see you soon. Bye!